Our children and youth are now exposed to many factors and many stressors which induce them toward violence. We have many studies linking violent video games to violent behavior. There's simply no doubt about it. It inures people to hurting other people. It destroys empathy and it trains people to do shootings because the video games are almost identical to military training games for shooting enemies. Then we have many violent films that uh, encourage young people to think that shooting other people and killing lots of people is a heroic thing. Then we have the refusal of schools to teach morality, which children need to be taught. Children are not born with morality. They need education. They need religion. They need community values expressed by coaches and ministers and teachers. Children need to grow up in a moral environment and they no longer do. Children are more and more isolated from their parents. They spend increasing amounts of time on social media and they are virtually raising themselves in a wild west of uh, social media. Parents stand on the sidelines often feeling they don't even have a right to impose their moral values on children or to look at what they're doing on the media. We have a general movement in our culture away from sound values and toward uh, an anything goes and everything is relative attitude. By the time our children grow up, they're in a sea of violence and sexual opportunities and illegal and legal drugs, which was literally unknown when I was growing up unknown. So one of the major issues in the school shootings is the isolation of our children from adults and from adult morality. Another big problem is the exposure to all kinds of drugs, not just psychiatric drugs. They are then prepared to turn to psychiatric drugs as a solution to their problems because of the lies spread by psychiatry and the pharmaceutical industry, which are then adopted out of ignorance by general practitioners and nurse practitioners and um, internists and other doctors who give the drugs out freely with little background or knowledge. And when I say lies, I mean it. The biochemical imbalance theory is a lie. Psychiatric drugs, on average, are studied for four to six weeks in controlled clinical trials, which tells us nothing about what they will actually do to a human being over time. 